Hey guys, it's your girl back with another video. And in today's video, I'm thrilled to show you guys how to do the brand new frozen money glitch. So let's dive right in. First things first, go and head to the online options and select swap character. Once you've loaded in, it's time to make sure you have a second character. If you don't have one yet, no worries. Just go ahead and create a brand new character too. And here's a pro tip. When setting up your new character, don't forget to transfer your rank over from your primary character. It will make things a whole lot smoother and simpler. Once you've completed those steps, get ready to load into a new GTA online session. It's time to head to the cash and carry and buy a car that you plan to sell later. Let's say we're going for the Deluxo, which sells for the most, but you don't have enough money, don't worry. You can choose any other car as well. Now this part is really important. As soon as you buy the Deluxo, you will need to unplug your internet cable from the console or disconnect your personal hotspot or anything that will disconnect your internet really fast. Once you have done that, just reconnect your internet or plug your internet cable back into your console. You will get this alert. Just accept it. After that, load into story mode and create a new online session. You will be prompted to alter your character's appearance, but be sure to decline that offer. Now, as you jump back into the online, you will notice that all your hard-earned cash is still safe and sound in your account. Awesome, right? Now call up your mechanic and request delivery of your newly acquired Deluxo. Take it straight to Los Santos Customs and sell it. I'll get there as soon as I can. <laughs> If you want to rinse and repeat this glitch as many times as you please, head back to the swap character option in the GTA online menu, delete the character you created, and start the whole process again. Oh, and by the way guys, you can use also NetCut. If you are interested, there's a download file for the cracked version of NetCut in the description below. It will make the process a whole lot easier. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please show some love by hitting that like button and don't forget to subscribe. By the way, only a small 1% of you are actually subscribing, so come on guys, it's totally free. Anyway guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye guys.